I'm ready for anything. Here, take this. What is it? These are some directives I wrote last night. These negotiations are complex to be sure, but I thought about it carefully and realized there are no more than 187 possible outcomes. I took the liberty of writing them all down. This way, you will be able to adapt with speed, no matter how the events play out. Whoa, this is huge! Let's see, fierce dispute, violent escalation, armed revolt, coordinated attack, seize hostages. Wow, there are so many, but you've thought of a solution to each one. Paimon suddenly feels a lot less nervous. Glad to hear it. These peace talks are quite exceptional. It is a major step forward, both for Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate. But any amount of dissatisfaction within our ranks weakens our negotiating position. We will have to work all the harder if we want these talks to be a success. As the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, this responsibility is, of course, mine to shoulder. But would you be willing to lend me a hand? I also want the peace talks to succeed as well. Excellent. Okay, time to head off. So, peace talks on to Tarasuna. I see Kujo Sara. a while, Kujo-sara. I believe the last time we met was on the battlefield. Yes, where you dealt my forces quite the devastating blow. But before we go any further, what are you doing here? I'm here to witness the peace talks. That's right. He's here to bear witness to the proceedings. He experienced the war between us firsthand and has made an enormous contribution towards securing the peace we have today. I couldn't think of a more suitable candidate. Seems reasonable. Then let's get straight into it. The first item is the maritime administration issue. During wartime, we restricted fishing rights for Watatsumi vessels in Narukami waters. We intend to remove these restrictions. But going forward, any of your vessels that fish in our waters will have to pay taxes in accordance with Narukami legislation in order to bring their catch back to Watatsumi. That's fine. But if they're paying taxes, they should also be entitled to protection from the Tenryo Commission while in your waters. Any losses they sustain due to issues of public security will need to be compensated by the Tenryo Commission. Accepted. Let's add that to the peace treaty. I can assure you that your vessels will be quite safe in our hands. Negotiations seem to be going pretty smoothly. Yeah, this is be this is getting righteous. The next item has to do with the movement of people and military authority. Here we go. In the past, our people have been subjected to lengthy interrogations on arrival in Watatsumi. And the same has been true for your people on arrival to Narukami. Economic cooperation between our islands has suffered greatly as a consequence. Few merchants are now willing to engage in inter-island commerce. Since the war is now over, I propose that we have the Yashiro Commission appoint a business council to oversee trade between our two islands. Righteous! The problem there is that trade is a reciprocal affair. We'll need to involve merchants from both sides in this process if it is to succeed. We cannot give the Yashiro Commission full authority. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Watatsumi Island facing severe shortages of many essential goods at the moment? Having the Yashiro Commission organize everything centrally would work in your favor. True, but... True, we're experiencing some shortages, but we will recover in due course. Between the diverse range of goods we can produce ourselves and our strong trade links with other areas, we are capable of sourcing everything we need. Not to mention that your proposal would require separate talks with the Kamisato clan. If they've yet to sanction it, I believe you are going beyond the remit of the Tenryo Commission's authority. Let's leave that aside for now, then. On to the military question. Watatsumi Island's forces will need to come back under the jurisdiction of the Tenryo Commission. Uh. That just isn't feasible. Not in the short term, at least. With all due respect, 
feasibility doesn't come into it. The Tenryo Commission alone has ultimate responsibility for Inazuma's national security. We cannot allow Watatsumi Island to be the sole exception to this rule indefinitely. Ah oh, crap, it's about to start. <sighs> you Kujo scum! Colluding with the Fatui isn't low enough for you already! You just want to take everything away from us! Comrades, never trust the Kujo! Let's get them! <laughs> uh, protect Madam Kujo! Ah! Uh, here, on! <laughs> hey! Hey, easy everybody! We can just talk this out! Please put your spears down! Keep calm, everybody. Please keep calm. This is a peace talk here, remember? Those two aren't fighting? What's up? Oh, I see. Oh boy. The last one. But hold off for the moment. Stand down, Tadakatsu. Situation has changed. Please stand by for further orders. Rest assured, I am fully aware of your concerns. But I will deal with the situation from here. Madam Kujo, this is rather serious. I believe you owe Watatsumi Island an explanation. Excuse me for a moment. Nobody makes another move until I have finished investigating. You two, here, now. Why are those two chickening out of the fights? Oh yeah. Where'd you see, Kokomi? Speak. Collusion with the Fatui? Is this true? Um... I wouldn't exactly call it collusion, as such. We were approached by a few Fatui. Uh, they mentioned a potential cooperation to keep the war against Watatsumi Island going. At the time, I felt like we could give it a try. After all, there'd be nothing to lose. But we were extremely careful. We didn't agree to anything. We just said they could maybe start by heading to Watatsumi Island and stirring things up a little. Then we'd see how it went. With respect, ma'am, there was no collusion. It was just a one-off conversation. How anyone from Watatsumi Island even found out about it, I have no idea. That's enough. When we return, there will be consequences. Might I remind you that this is the Fatui? Have you completely forgotten what they did to us? Yeah, bringing up the Vision Hunt Decree, and also slandering the Kujo name. Sar is the only one who keeps that name with full honor, unlike the rest of you in the Tenryo Commission. You should be having no interaction with them whatsoever, let alone entertaining offers of cooperation. So, what did they want out of it? The Fatui's main forces have already left Inazuma. The few who approached us seemed like they wanted to settle a score for their boss. Oh, her subordinates. So they're out for revenge. They want to keep Inazuma in a state of turmoil. Her as in senor? <sighs> I'm so glad she's dead. And I'll take out whatever forces she has left. One day, I will hunt them down. Every last one. We bear responsibility for this issue. My sincere apologies. I have my own negligence to blame for this state of affairs. Please, grant us another chance to continue the peace talks. <laughs> but of course, Madame Kujo. I have every confidence in your ability to resolve this situation. For the time being, however, there is evidently some discord within the Tenryo Commission's ranks. I would therefore not feel comfortable releasing Watatsumi Island's forces into your command at this time. It seems that I must acquiesce. I will lay this issue aside for now. But we shall revisit it as soon as the Tenryo Commission has resolved our internal issues. As for the trade issues we raised, I will discuss options with the Yashiro Commission and make sure both sides have ample participation in the final arrangement. Seems like Kujo Sara's on the defensive now. These negotiations should be smooth sailing from here on out! 
I never knew the grand strategist of Watatsumi Island was a skilled negotiator, as well as a formidable commander. I hope that when we meet again, we can continue these sit-down discussions. Settling our differences on the battlefield is rather taxing. You can say that again. If you two would battle side by side, that would be a whole different story. I think we can leave things there for today. Once I get back, I will conduct a thorough investigation into the Tenryo Commission's internal issues. I should inform you that we took out a Fatui camp recently. I suspect that before long, they will attempt to re-establish contact with your people in the hope of procuring some assistance. I recommend you say and do nothing on the matter for the time being, lest you tip them off and they disappear. Wait for them to come to you. That way, you can capture them all in one fell swoop. I will bear this in mind. Thank you. I shall take my leave now. Until we meet again. Bye, Sora. Your Excellency, we... Let's discuss it after we get back. Yeah, they in trouble big time. <laughs> ah. Aside from the guards, the peace talk went, went pretty well. <laughs> time to head back to Wontatsumi. Alright, we're back. Your Excellency, y you knew? I have already been informed on the reasons for your actions. You believe the Tenryo Commission to be untrustworthy and sought to sabotage the peace talks and reignite the war. Fortunately, the end result exposed and thwarted a secret Tenryo Commission plot. Yet, this was purely incidental. And the end certainly did not justify your means. But your excellency, so many comrades have sacrificed themselves in the line of duty. If we stop now, aren't all of our efforts going to waste? I want to keep fighting. I want ultimate victory. Even if it means I have to pay the ultimate price. I understand your sentiments. But you cannot simply impose your will and expect others to bear the consequences. During the war there were highs and there were lows. And in the end there was a glorious victory. For you, perhaps, the experience was one of great excitement. But you saw nothing of the countless others who will remember the war quite differently. Most people suffered terribly through each day. Watatsumi Island's people yearn for peace because they have long since given all they had to the war effort. They are tired of treading water and don't need you dragging them back underneath once again. I... but... I understand, I do. And the fault is not yours alone. It was largely an oversight on my part. They taught you to nurture a warrior's will, but never how to let it go. It's not your fault, Your Excellency. It was ours, our selfishness. Either way, we are ready to accept sentencing under martial law. Very well. Then I hereby declare. But as of today, I am founding a new secret corps of the army. This division will be responsible for keeping Watatsumi Island safe and secure, neutralizing any and all threats to the peace of our island. Okay, sounds like a win-win. You and your comrades will all be welcome to join. But be warned, the training will be grueling. Perseverance and grit will be in high demand. Your Excellency, what are you saying? I have concluded from today's peace talks that the Kujo clan cannot achieve absolute peace and stability in the near future. Many seek peace, but there are still those who pursue war. It is right that Watatsumi Island moves towards peace, but we must still retain a defensive capacity. Those whose warrior's will is alive and well, I invite you to embark on the most challenging training regimen of your lives. I don't want to hear from any of you again until all of you can take on two shogunate samurai at a time. Oh, thank you, Your Excellency. Wow. <laughs> all right, dismissed. Go and report to General Goro. And remember, there can be no more insubordination. And if there is, there will be no more leniency from me, whatever reasons you may have. Yes, ma'am. From now on, we will focus on our training. 
Thank you for this opportunity, Your Excellency. We'll report to General Goro right away. Does Goro know about this? Uh, of course he does. <sighs> I think that's finally everything in hand. Uh, I can feel my energy level starting to drop. Uh, meet you back at the hideout for some rest? Sure. More. How's your energy, yeah? Mm, recovering. Slowly, but surely. I should be raring to go before too long. Today was a reminder that I don't cope well in situations with lots of people. I've improved, but I still get nervous when more than a handful of people are involved. <laughs> I think I might get Goro to handle the negotiations next time. You did an admirable job. Still a long way off what's expected of a divine priestess. In the past, I was concerned only with winning the war, restoring peace, and making sure everyone could live a happy life. But I realized now that wasn't going far enough. People have all kinds of aspirations, and just as many measures of happiness. I have a long way to go, but that's okay. If I can't make the journey in one giant leap, I'll just have to settle for taking it one small step at a time. In short, I've still got some maturing to do. Hmm. Could you... stay here on Watatsumi Island? Hmm? To keep me company for a while longer? Sure. That was a lot, but it was fun. Well, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a righteous day or night, Jiren 2.0. Signing out. I gave you all the 2.0. <laughs> and peace out.